is Anna Linnea. And we're here at Pacific Science Center getting so excited to talk all about chemical reactions. Exactly, Kia. We're going to be looking at some really fun chemical reactions today and looking for indicators of those chemical reactions. Indicators are when something indicates or lets us know that something has happened. So there's four ways to know that a chemical reaction is taking place. Exactly. So we can either see, or we can see multiple at a time, heat, light, color change, and gas. We're going to be using real chemicals and fire to take a look at these uh, chemical reactions and their indicators today. But since Adelina and I are very safe scientists, we want to make sure that we're doing these chemical reactions as safely and responsibly as possible. So we would love if you would take the Pacific Science Center safety oath together with us. So are you ready? All right. Go ahead and put up your favorite hand and repeat after me. I, I, state your name, state your name, promise to never, promise to never, ever, 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 play with chemicals and fire, play with chemicals and fire, when I don't know what they'll do, when I don't know what they'll do, because I love my eyebrows, because I love my eyebrows, my toes, my toes, my pet cat, my pet cat, my siblings, and my siblings, just the way they are, just the way they are. All right, I'm so excited to explore some chemical reactions. Let's get started. The sign of a chemical reaction that we're going to be looking for today is light. And we're going to be using another combustion reaction to do that. Combustion reactions are reactions that include fire. So we're going to need our three ingredients of fuel, heat, and oxygen to get these reactions going. Light is one of the things that we're going to be seeing. So if something is glowing or on fire, you're probably having a chemical reaction. In addition to looking for light or glowing and fire, we should also look for one of the other signs of a chemical reaction. That might be color change, gas, or heat. Let's see which one we notice. I have three pie plates with a type of fuel in them called methyl alcohol. This one just has methyl alcohol. This one has methyl alcohol and salt. And this one has methyl alcohol with another chemical called cupric sulfate. Now, we're going to do a combustion reaction, which means we're gonna get some fire going. And hopefully, we can look for those indicators of a chemical reaction, including that we get a light. All right, I'm gonna set up uh, Anna Linnea, would you hit the lights for us? Now I notice that my fire at the end of my match is bright orange. Let's take a look at what happens with these other flames. Wow. Oh. I'm starting to observe some really interesting things going on with these different flames. If I take a look at my flame that had cupric sulfate in it, I notice that I'm getting a green color developing. My middle plate, which has the salt in it, has a kind of blue-orange flame, and my plate that just has methyl alcohol is definitely all blue. So I'm seeing that we have a lot of light, and color change, and you guys can't feel it, but I sure feel some heat. All right, I'm ready to end my experiment, so I'm gonna go ahead and blow on these fires to get them out. Ooh. It's not working. I'm gonna have to try something different. I know that combustion reactions are fuel, heat, and oxygen. So I'm thinking if I cut off oxygen, I might be able to get my reaction to end. Let's take a look. Oh yeah. So remember, if you are ever in a situation where you are unexpectedly on fire, make sure to stop, drop, and roll to smother those flames and get rid of the ingredients for a combustion reaction. Thanks for watching and stay curious.